ACO on air, uh, Jackie Whitelaw of Infrastructure Intelligence with Duncan Brack, who is the Vice Chair of the Liberal Dem Democratic Manifesto Group. We just heard you speaking about the achievements of the coalition in green issues over the last five years. Could you tell us what you think are the three most significant things that you've done? I think there's quite a lot actually, particularly on the climate change and energy agenda. But the three I would pick out are the creation of the Green Investment Bank, um, the world's first actually dedicated green investment bank, um, the uh, establishment of uh, clear climate targets for the mid-20s through the fourth carbon budget. It's a really step change in UK's behaviour and guaranteeing long-term funding for renewable energy. And you can really see that coming through with a very rapid increase in the amount of renewables that the UK um, generates electricity from. Would that have happened without a coalition? No, I don't think so at all. Um, to be honest, what was in the Conservative Manifesto in 2010 wasn't bad, and we didn't have too much difficulty agreeing that section in the coalition programme. But what I think the last four years have shown is that the commitment to environmental policy is only skin deep at best amongst Conservatives, and increasing numbers of them are just coming out and saying they're against it. So I think it has really been one of our major achievements in coalition to keep the government true to at least elements of its green agenda. So going forwards into the next election, you've, you've come up with the pre-manifesto. Which items in there do you think are the most significant for the country in the next, to pursue? Well, I think what we are trying to say in the pre-manifesto, which we published a couple of months ago and will be in more detail in the manifesto, is the understanding that an essential part of the UK economy is its green industries sector. Renewable energy, low carbon transport, green finance. These are all areas where the UK has had a good record and we should be building on them and developing them to lay the seeds of uh, future prosperity. Particular, um, particular commitments, much more action on energy efficiency, um, reducing people's fuel bills through uh, insulating their homes better, tackling fuel poverty, generating a lot of jobs in the process, um, continuing support for renewable energy and low carbon transport, and setting a long-term framework through more ambitious climate targets and natural capital targets so that industry has the um, confidence to invest for the long term and knows which direction we're headed in. The idea of having green taxes to encourage more renewables, has it backfired a bit purely in the fact people's bills have gone up? Yes, I think it has. And I mean, it was a way, it was the introduction uh, the Labour Party introduced uh, levies on electricity bills. It's a kind of rather hidden way of raising revenue for renewables. It wasn't an overt tax. And it wasn't too much of a problem when electricity bills were fairly low. It's become more of a problem now. Though, to be honest, there's still a minor component of electricity bills, and the major component is still world gas prices. What we actually want is to build an electricity uh, a power and energy future where Britain is not so um, held so hostage to the international gas price by improving energy efficiency and increasing renewables. So in the long term, I think this will um, be a good uh, way forward. Um, now, air quality is, is quite a big issue, a growing issue. Where do the Liberal Democrats stand on that? Are you going yeah. to pursue a framework for low emission zones? Yes, I think so. It's an important area and one that we, uh, to be honest, we need to do more thinking on. And we have another three months till we have to finish the manifesto. So it'll be um, one of the top environmental issues we haven't yet addressed. Um, clearly, there is a need for more action in cities, particularly like London. Mm -hmm. um, a whole mixture of reasons for problems with local air quality. Uh, one is the sort of favourable tax treatment of diesel uh, compared to petrol. Um, there are other issues with coal stations, which we've already said we would uh, phase out in electricity generation. But we do need to have more detailed proposals. I think one way forward is to, uh, the government is already supporting electric vehicles, but I think the priority should be given to electric buses and electric taxis, where I think the infrastructure is easier to construct, and they account for an awful lot of short journeys in in cities with local air pollution problems. Because you also mentioned the extra low emission freight plan. That you've yes, got. our long-term aim is to have um, all vehicles on the UK's roads uh, ultra low emissions by 2040, apart from freight. Um, but clearly there's limited resources, so you have to start in the areas where it makes most sense. And I think it's probably you know, public transit vehicles, buses and taxis. There was a big announcement this week about £15 billion pounds of spending, 83 new road schemes. Yeah. Uh, coupled with that are green, uh, mitigating green plans. Is that something you support going forwards? I, I think our priority should be public transport and it's fair to remember of course that the coalition government has invested more in the railways than any government for about a hundred years uh, and I wish our ministers were slightly better at reminding people of that. When they look at the roads programme they think the government only cares about roads. Obviously you can't ignore roads, it's very important that the rail network is not going to cover large parts of the country forever though we, we hope to expand it. Um, so it's important to improve roads and make them as environmentally sensitive as possible. I assume if you've got the low emission vehicles they're going to want to travel on something. Yeah. That's right, if you can reduce emissions from road transport then you are tackling
Thank you very much. Pleasure.